You fools! At this rate, you'll be greeting your human limitations. To resist the monsters, everyone's power has to be united as one! That's the best way to take on the menace that'll be coming this way! The monsters? Ridiculous! It was Odessa that manipulated the monsters and made them flow from the Earth! That's true. We used the monsters as soldiers. We used them in the demon summoning you're well acquainted with. But think about it. How could we release so many monsters in such a short time? What's the point of creating monsters we can't control without some plan? Then it's... It's not us. It's an advanced guard of some different threat. The advanced guard of a different threat? <laughs> what? I will follow along with my ideals. And you too can follow with the Heimdall Gazo. The power reactor is overloaded. At this rate... What's going to happen? It'll be crushed to smithereens, and we will be too. But you won't let them do that, right? Ashley? Of course. An aerial fortress this large has to have escape pods. Let's find them. And, yeah. <laughs> I am definitely using a couple berries to top off Ashley. But yeah, the fact that he missed out on that experience is actually kind of funny. And I will explain fully why later. But let's go ahead and take this door. Looks like we need to use this control panel here to operate the escape devices. All five escape devices from different locations. So that means it's impossible for us to all escape at once. Let's get so far and then have this happen. We sure got bad luck. What are we going to do? I'll take care of this. Hurry up and get to the escape devices. Hurry, we got no time. We won't leave until you promise us you'll get allowed we'll get out of here alive too. Sure, I promise. I'm not gonna just die in vain. Not right before your very eyes. Promise, Ashley! We all promise to return together, so you gotta keep your promise. Everyone set? No problem here. Okay. Don't forget your promise. Don't worry. Ashley, prepare for launch too. There isn't much time. No problem here. The rest is up to you. Prepare for launch. Face forward. I'll get out uh, soon too. See you all on land. And we are basically in a split party puzzle. We want to start with Lilka. She's the only one who can get through her first door, I believe. And I don't have to worry too much about uh, enemy encounters, but it's, it's mostly just puzzle solving. Fortunately, even though it feels like time is of the essence, we have infinite. Okay, so Luca. Let's see, leave it as is. We want to check this door. Okay, that's just the uh, gems. Might as well take them. We don't need the blue, da ba 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 die. Alright. Up next is Brad. Well, he got far, but basically, uh, Tim and Brad, uh, uh, not, not, not Tim and Brad, uh, Brad and Cannon for a little bit. We'll get to Tim in a bit. Yeah, these two are gonna help each other. Er, until I can go no further. Yep, easy peasy dash. Yep, keep on going until no longer get through. And Another switch. This is probably more gems, if you ask me. Oh, no. Okay, so, yep. Need to step on there. Now it's Tim time. No need to dash. Oh, how nice. We got a another big block puzzle. If 
it'll let if it'll let me grab him. Come on. Or can I? Nope, can't even move him. That's what the air bell A is for. Nope, I can't even do anything, so well, at least the door seems open. There we go. I see what you wanted me to do there, game. Right, well, we'll go as far as Tim can get. So we're forced to switch again. Oh, we're forced to switch again. Oh. Well, back to Tim. Uh, it was this one, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's like, I just like how quickly it raised. Got another blue door. Hey, there we go. Now, before I move on, uh, let's double check that Brad's situation, make sure he's as far as he can get. Okay, yep, he's stuck at blue. Ballet, we need Puka. Okay, red and blue are open, so everyone who has a blue door, get going. Now oh, we've seen that bridge before. And yep, uh, stay right there, Tim. I bet they had a lot of fun setting this up. This is a really cool team puzzle. I still have no idea what that, that other room with Tim was about. If it was even supposed to do anything. Yeah, we've seen ones like this already, game. Technically one ways, but... That's been the whole case so far. And... I'm gonna assume we have to push this over. Nope, I need you down there. But I also need to be able to pull it over. Can I get can I get around and grab it? No, I need Tim to push it. That okay. Yeah, once again. Teamwork. Now you can step over here. Brad will let you through. But I think we're about done with these guys. Nope, not quite. And not quite, so I think Brad is also at a dead end. Yep, door's locked. Uh, Luca, you haven't done anything in a while. Your turn. Oh, well, she's locked in. <laughs> Cannon, you're up. That one just won't move. Oh boy, we gotta 
So we have to pull it all the way around. Well, it could be worse. It's just a bit of a walk. And of course, what I want to make sure to not do is back it so. Oh, just pull it so far back I can't get around it. Yep, easy peasy. Not a problem. Get this lower. And hit that switch, Tim. Made it! So this is the escape pod. I wonder if everyone arrives safely. I don't know how to release the lock on the escape pod. What should I do? What can I do? I'm not giving up. I can't blow it here. Hold your heart strong. I'm gonna become strong so I can protect everyone. That's right! The spirit destroys all hope and that negates any possibilities for the future. Tim, you're not weak. Your persistent strength will reach the future. Tim, I can hear the sound of your heart from the transmitter. The empathite is uniting our hearts. It's all right, I'll undo the escape pod's lock now, so get in and wait, okay? I can hear it. I can hear Ashley's voice clearly. I understand. I'll wait in the escape pod. Please hurry, Ashley. Oh, automatic uh, swap to Brad, and he's done. The Overlord running wild in the Heimdall Gods was making creak. It won't be long now. Soon we will put an end to the war with Odessa. Though we have no obligation to Vince, we have to survive. There's a wilderness I need to cross alive to create a future with no wars. Brad, Brad, can you hear my voice? I can hear the voice of Brad's heart from the communicator. The Empathite is uniting our hearts. I'm all right. I can operate the escape pod panel from here. That's right. We're not finished yet. We still have so much left to do. The Empathite takes the hearts. A miracle. If he's a hero, it's not unusual for this to happen. I'm leaving it up to you. I'm going to bed a bit before you. And Lilka! <laughs> yep, you were stuck in there for a bit long, longer than probably necessary. I finally made it! But I don't like being alone. We've always been together. We have to all be together. No, you gotta be joking! You gotta be kidding! This place is locked too? Do something! My magic alone can't do anything! Wilka, Wilka, calm down! Focus your ear on my voice! I'll release the escape pod locked now, so calm down and wait. The empathite and the communicator binds us, so you're not alone. You're hearing my voice, right? Your voice is reaching me, so you'll be fine. The Empathite? Uh, wait, don't go looking any places you shouldn't be, okay? <laughs> there's so much I haven't told you yet. But thanks for cheering me up. I'm all right now. Not, I'm with you. I'm fine and dandy. That's a terrible read. And cannon. Probably at the very end, too. Yep. I finally reached the escape pod. I'm going to pray that this escape pod doesn't turn into my casket. I mean, how tacky. Run. Very much pressure's changing so quickly. What's happening? Can't be. We're not falling. It's just the opposite of that. The ship's engineers are sending the guy Belgazo to the heavens. No, we're sending to a sea of stars. At this rate, we'll... Cannon! Cannon! It's me, Ashley! The voice of your heart. The empathite and the communicator led me here. The altitude of the Heimdall Elgazo is rising rapidly, but don't give up. We can't be finished off now. Not like this. I can hear your heart's voice too. You're right. I it can end. I can hear it too. Mixed in and with your heart's voice is the howl of the demon. Don't worry. I'm the one who will exercise it out of you. That's why you need to survive no matter what. Got it? It's all set. There's no time left. We have to hurry, or else. Surprise, bitch! Oh, here you are, you scoundrel. Vincefeld! 
I want an answer. Why do you not die along with your ideals? Why do you persist in living? I have a place to return home to and people to return to as well. I have someone special waiting for me too. I fought to bring back the daily life we all once enjoyed. You say daily life. How absurd. You shred our ideals just for that. In my 19 years, I found nothing else worth risking my life. So, Vince failed round two. Ashley's gonna get his experience. It's not over. I can't let it be over. It's over. The ideals of Odessa, the desire for world domination, your madness too. Ashley Winchester, only you. Oh, first order of business, lucky card. I was gonna say, since Ashley got that 20K experience, we don't want him to get too over level compared to the rest of the team. Don't, don't use a lucky card in this fight. But since he got KO'd last time, <laughs> I just find that too funny. But this is basically, uh, stay alive until you get access, then just kill him. Yeah, he's definitely a, a bit weaker. But uh, use a big, big berry once you get, once you need to heal oh, 2,000 HP. And of course, once uh, we can access, we will be faster than him. Just to be on the safe side, he doesn't need the weather vane right now. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that instant death could potentially happen again. But like I said, we fight all members of Odessa three times. And we know that Kaina did not die, so she'll be back later. As for Vincefeld, you'll see. Nice dodge. Yeah, we're just gonna hop fence him to death here. He's got the same amount of HP, actually, so... It's just better to uh, build up the damage. Of course, I'd never put any FP in the counter-attacking, but at the same time, I don't find it worth it. Might be near the very end of the game, once I don't have anything else to spend it on. Yep, yeah, effect was completely neutralized. That's basically your uh, Icy Breath from Dragon Quest, Black Hole from Final Fantasy IV. It will negate all your stat buffs. Not like we've been using any. If you want a challenge run, you could try to fight this guy without using Night Blazer, but uh, why take that extra time? Not hurting me. Absolutely wasting your turn, man. And there's the 20k experience that Ashley missed. <laughs> I'm finished. I never even imagined it. For the end to visit me is something that was never supposed to happen. But that's all right. If you want an end. To end the party, I'll give you an end of life. What do you have up your sleeve? I'm finished, but you're finished too. And Phil Guy is finished as well. Nuke! Are you planning to launch <laughs> Are you planning to launch the strategic nuclear weapon you stole from Guild Galad? <laughs> That's right. That's exactly right. Everything will come to an end with my end. The party must end. Okay, was that the launch, or is he just attacking something random in space? Mm. 
Obviously the launch. What did you do, Vince Felt? You didn't... It's a nuclear weapons landing pad. It's our trump card, the Grassvine. It was launched before completion, so there's no way to predict when the nuke will fall on Filgaia. One week later, or one month later, nuclear blades could blow. It could come tomorrow. Live in fear. There's nothing you can do but live under the threat of ruin. Milka, Brad, Tim, Cannon. Let's all save our Filgaia from nuclear weapons. Please get in there in time. Come on, escape pod. Filgaia needs the arms, so we must. Oh! It's the burial of an era. Everything will be buried all by Vince Felt's hands. Empathize. Please tell Marina I'm sorry. I won't be able to keep my promise. Those shooting stars? Wishing upon a star is so silly. Come on, tell me what you wish for. Oh, no, that was Marvel. Come on, tell me what you wish for. If you wish for too much, the star won't make it come true. I didn't wish for much. Just that everyone makes it through the fighting safely. Well, I'm sure the star can handle a wish like that. promise that we return home together. Why is there always one person who breaks their promise? <laughs> Poor little guy. To be continued in disc two.